Hey guys, it's Kaylee here. I figured since a few days ago it was National Knife Day, I'd go ahead and post a video of my knife collection and I'll just show you how I store everything and pretty much the state of my collection right now. Now I always have a few scragglers laying around here or there or sometimes they're in my car so um, might be missing a knife or two but for the most part this is my full collection currently. And by the way, happy late National Knife Day to everybody and I hope everyone carried something awesome. And of course, got to have the baby banter hanging. So this Craftsman toolbox right here is what I store the majority of my knives in. All right, and here we have what I guess you could define as the top shelf knives. I try to group everything together and keep everything together. Sometimes I get astray here or there, but for the most part, they're grouped. So right here I have the A-Purvis blades, two MK3s and the Zerks. I have the Lemire from Alex Steingraber, McNeese Mac 2, Jaeger M from Brian Brown Knives, got the Roosevelt. Right here we have my three CKFs, so I have my Satori, my Evo 2.0, and my Snafu. Then we have the two Axons from Vero Engineering, Frame Locks. I have the Benchmade Anthem, Arius, Lucas P. And then right here I have three Berg Blades. We have the Barber, Full Size Slim, and Mini Slim. Then we have the LUT from Microtech here. Norseman, Norseman Rask. We have the um, Thresher Drop, whatever from Gavco Designs. Really good knife. Um, I have a Gavco Custom. Two small Sabenzas. This one is the um, Bead Blast. And then the one next to it right here is the Glass Blast. Then we have the Busker from Alamic. We have the 3.5 J Cape the mini J Cape. And then over here we have the TRM Rivers Neutron with titanium scales. So yes, I do have this issue, as I've mentioned before, where if I really like a knife, I'll get two of them. And I'll just roll with it. And I already know I'm gonna get people in the comments going, oh my gosh, this is too many. Yes, I know, I'm very aware. I, I've tried to downsize a little bit and I also like keeping some because I feel like they're good for trades in the future. But anyways, we shall carry on. So I have some quiet carries here. We have two drifts and the waypoint. We have three Malibus, Sapphire Blade, Blackout, and then this one I got in Las Vegas um, at PBK Vegas when they still had a storefront. So that one's very special to me. It's got um, some button stick, but I just don't care. I won't sell that one because of, there's a lot of memories attached to it. I have two mini Osbournes. You have your green and then your black. Berg Blades Iron Pups here. Then we have Mini J Capes F5.5. We have Banter, Banter, Baby Banter, Baby Banter, Banter. And then we have the Jade and Black here, Civivi Elementum, Little Native. We have the Benchmade uh, Mini Freak. I was really surprised this one was um, in stock for so long on Blade HQ. It's a really cool knife. Um, but yeah. I guess it was a shop show or a blade show special at one point when COVID was coming through, so they didn't have the show. Um, smock here, we have pair of threes, um, blackout, the one that has my strip screw that I won't get rid of, modded from EDC Gearhouse, some extra scales, some scales here from Marty. Thanks, Marty. And then we'll go to this drawer. Um, have some mini bug outs, bug out. We have the Ace Grand in carbon fiber, micarta. We have the Clyde. Fun fact, I had this knife and I was driving in my car one time and I don't know why I flipped it open so close to my face, but I nicked the bottom of my chin. So, you know, lesson learned. Um, we have the Raptor from Brian Brown's Knives, Little Native, Spider Coat Shaman, Boo Smoke, TRM Rivers Adam. Really like this knife. It's it's a little big for me, but it's slim, so that always helps. Um, we have TRM Rivers Nerds right here, without the hole, with the hole. Then we have the Wii, 
the Wiimote. Okay, I remember the name. Wiimote. Love this little knife. I take this to every baby shower that I go to. It's like my baby shower knife now. Um, we have the Neuron from Vero Engineering, Axon Mini, Nimble, Spyroco Techno 2, um, Sage 5 Lightweight, Protec Runt, Slim, Crawler from Arcane Designs, The Dawn, Sweet Knife. Well, if I can get it front flip. Sweet Knife, front flip. Love using the fuller on this knife. It's very easily accessible, which is not always the case with a fuller, which I don't, you know, I don't get it, but you know, some knives have a fuller, but they're hard to get to. But this knife is a perfect example of good fuller, plus another option, front flipping. Really nice. And this was uh, the guy's first design, so excited to see what he releases next. We have the Mini Slim Pickens. Mini Tempest. And then we have the Yaru. So there's this one. All right, and here we have my autos. We have just some random micarta. Mm, you know, just some random fill-ins here. So we have um, Microtech Direct. We have the UTX 85. Two UTX 70s, Mini Combat Trudon, Trudon, however you pronounce it. Um, some Boker autos here. This one I really like. The Benchmade Auto Effect. I wanted this knife for so long before I finally pulled the trigger. I just love it. Got that Italian stiletto design. Super nice. Anyways, Hogue, Doug Ritter. You know, I can't remember the name of this one right now. I'm gonna be honest. But I know it's a cool design. I'll remember as I'm posting the video. My friend sent me the link to this one and was like, you need to check this out. So I, I trusted him and it is awesome. Um, we have the Asher right here. We knife from a friend that Adam Purvis had modded. Cool bottle opener here as the lanyard bead. My one and only hinderer. Spotty Chef Delica, uh, the bear, McBee. They like this little rock pattern, purple clip. Damn Designs Knife, won this in a giveaway. Um, PM2, Mini Slam, don't count how many I have of those. Um, Display HQ Knife, it's pretty sweet. Emerson. some extra scales beside it. All right, and sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera as focused as possible, but I have sacks here, multi-tools, slip joint, um, bottle butcher, CVB Elementum, pry bars here, Nice Guy Machine Company, Lynch. Um, yeah, just a bunch of random knickknacks here. And then this very last one is kind of a catch-all it's for pins. I have a multi-tool here, a uh, pry bar from Bureau Engineering, flashlights, and then normally right here I throw whatever I carried that day if I just like, you know, just come in here and throw it there. This is kind of like my catch-all area. Then I have more flashlights, Okluma here. Just a random hank. Like I said, it's normally just my catch-all. Um, if I get home from somewhere and just kind of unload my pockets in there and close it up. But yeah, that's pretty much my whole collection. Like I said, uh, the progeny is in my car and probably a few others, but there we go. So, hey Kaylee, which one's your favorite? I don't know, it depends on the day, it really does. Um, 
I'm really, really liking this Evo 2.0 right now. I really wish I had pre-ordered the 3.0, but maybe I'll get lucky. But this knife is just the action, the weight, the size. Just I just really love just about everything about it. And let's see here. The Rosie is a great, great EDC size. I got very lucky being able to get one of these at Blade Show. Just a very ergonomic knife here. The, uh, the MK3 from Adam Purvis is and will always be one of my favorites. I just love how smooth it is. It's lightweight. I love the Bowie blade. It's got a unique design. Just very well done. Very classy. So, have that one and then have the black. Adam had sent me a Damascus kit for it. Looks great. Also, I really like the Barber. It's got such a unique design. Very interesting. Really cool blade shape. Very sharp. Might have cut myself a time or two with that right there. That corner. But, you know, it's not yours till it bites you see here. This is the first custom knife I ever got. So I'm trying to focus but then the tripod will shake. Um, first custom knife I got. Liner lock. Cool rock pattern. This blade. Uh, Mike Gavko's blades are just wicked. The grind, the edge. This thing slices like no other. But it's still very strong, robust at the tip, so pretty neat. This is one of his designs, but a production knife. And I was, this was like one of those random buys. Given the price and everything, I was kind of like, you know what? I really like the color of it. I'm just gonna go for it. And then it turned out to be one of my favorite knives. I love when that happens. It's just super comfortable, super smooth. Let's see. Of course we got the 3.5 ring I really love carrying uh, the TRM Rivers Neutron this is if I'm just like going out the door and I'm not thinking about what I'm grabbing I'm grabbing this you got your deep carry it's so slim lightweight beautifully milled titanium scales for sure a winner bench my anthem Smooth. And this is one of my favorite um, Damascus clips ever from uh, the Axon. Very smooth. Just love the coloring of that clip. You know, sometimes it's got like an orange tint and stuff. I don't mind all Damascus is pretty, pretty much, but my favorite's when it's got the blues and purples or like a white and black theme. So yeah, this clip was absolutely perfect for me. Got the LUT here. Ooh, just love the color. Love that color. Well, all right, so I almost dropped it. This is the collection pretty much currently. Um, things come and go. Sometimes I do massive sales where I sell off a bunch of stuff. Um, and then I've had, I've had knives that I've, I've had since I very first started collecting the nicer stuff. So, yep, that's pretty much that. And here I just have some stickers that I've obtained from various buys um, that just came with packages. And I'm just having them being held up by some Oakluma magnets. Very nice touch that they sent some uh, magnets with their flashlight. I liked that a lot. And here is my grandpa's case knife. This wasn't in the uh, toolbox, but it was sitting on my desk. Um, as I've mentioned before, uh, my grandpa's the one that taught me how to use knives and all that stuff. This was one of the ones he carried all the time. As you can tell, it's very dirty. Um, I should clean it, but kind of sentimental about it. Uh, me and my grandpa were very close. So uh, 
yeah, I kind of just left it how it was, how it was given to me by my dad. But as you can tell, he definitely used it. Um, I like the edges he put on it. He just used, you know, the thing that had the two steel rods. I remember just about every other day he would just and he would just count it out loud and put it back in his pocket. So, yep, here's the case. I'm very curious to know what year he purchased this. Um, if anybody knows how to find out, let me know. I'd be very curious to know. So yeah, that's the current state of the collection. I'm very curious to know what your favorite knife is of my collection. Um, did you have a favorite? And if so, let me know.